What's good everybody in the building, man? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again, and we are here today with the brand new SIG M400 Tread. Also been given the name, the Tread 2.0. And this video is a little bit, uh, it's a little sentimental, very dope, extremely happy to do this video because the SIG Tread was my first ever AR-15. I bought the SIG Tread about maybe six, seven years ago. Um, I bought the original Tread, this is my uh, original tread right here. This is, that's all that's left of her. Um, because I love the SIG tread, don't get me wrong, but it definitely had some things about it that uh, looking back was absurd and um, happy that uh, they've moved forward and did those changes on this brand new version right here. See, the tread itself is, SIG's basically like entry level, but also very nice quality product of a rifle. You know, SIG, we know the MCX series that's been taken off going wild. Well, there is a standard AR-15 version of that, which is the SIG Tread. And then you also have a AR-10 version of that, which is, I believe, the, uh, the Tread uh, Snake Bite. Yeah, or also known as the 716 Tread, which is their AR-10 version, which are some very good rifles at a very good price, and you get a very solid overall gun now you know you might be somebody who wants to get something from the ground up or you know there's better options i'm not here to try to tell you what to do with your own money but i am here to tell you for what the value you get you do get a very solid solid ar-15 this one in particular is a 16 inch overall barrel and as stated before they've done a lot of differences with this that they changed out and they changed out a lot of these things that in my opinion um was basically just the issues with the original one. Um, and one in particular, one of the biggest differences right off the back is the brand new M-Lock system. Now, maybe you're on this video and you are asking this question because I asked the same question. There was also a SIG Tread coil that released a couple years back. I think it's now discontinued. And I wanted to know some of the main differences of the coil to this because if you look at the coil, they do look very similar. Now, from what I've seen and from the people I've reached out and asked about, uh, one of the main differences is the, the lighter M-Lock rail on the V2, as well as the brand new trigger that is put on here as well. YouTube, it's not a hair trigger, but it is a brand new trigger. I want to say, and I'm being 100% honest here, looking at this trigger, this looks like the same exact trigger that is on my uh, spear, as well as on my Rattler. Like it's a, the, 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 let me see the particular name, two-stage match trigger but the like that blade shape the little blade shape the curve it has there it looks the same exact as what we have here on the spear now let's go ahead and read some of this stuff off um there are uh two versions one is black and then the other is a moss green cerakote both for 556 five, 16 inch barrel um you got a six position slk stock which they kept that the same one and eight uh barrel twist two stage match triggers stainless steel barrel um alloy four end type Grip is polymer, hard coat anodized. With this one in particular, overall length is 30.8 inches. Overall width is 2.5. Overall height is 7.5. Threads is one half by 28. M-lock on the accessories. Mid-length gas system. Now, in the pounds is seven pounds. Now, I don't know, I didn't even know that. Like, I mean, I could see that, but I can't remember if the original tread was also mid-length. But of course, when it comes to mid-length, in my opinion, compared to like a rifle, uh, you know, or even carbine, the mid-length just has a very smooth overall shoot. When shooting this thing, I was just tapping, just tapping, just tapping. Felt a lot like, you know, with the DDM 4A1 R3, which is also mid-length, extremely, extremely light on the trigger, the recoil. N this nothing whatsoever. We were also utilizing the SLX one to six on here, which shot out phenomenally. We actually did some range day footage you guys and girls can go check out. Um, a very accurate rifle overall, a very nice quality rifle overall. And I love that they did the changes necessary with that tread because the original tread, it only had M lock. I want to say up here at the forefront, all this was a solid block of this handguard. Nothing there whatsoever. A lot of weight, extremely heavy on that front part, and they switched all that out. Um, we swapped out and ran the SLX on here, which is a 7.62 can, just to see how it ran. It ran phenomenally suppressed, so didn't have no issues there. And you also have ambidextrous settings here for the safety, as well as for the mag release. The bolt release is not, but you do have mag release here, mag release there, 
bolt release here, nothing there, but you do have safety utilization right there. You also have some QD slots right there. You also, of course, have it on the stock and uh, nothing up front, but you can, of course, put something up there to utilize that to run it that way. There is the overall charging hand handle, just pretty mil spec, regular charging handle. I'm gonna show you the actual trigger itself. Little wiggle, wall, mush, and there you go. Here's your reset. One more time, wall. There you go. Also, um, something else to point out. This does come with the uh, SIG flash hider. This one in particular. I'm not gonna lie, like, I mean, it's not ugly, don't get me wrong, but it works. That's one part. It, it, this, I like the, the SIG flash hider more than the A2 birdcage, in my opinion. I just, I don't know, I like it overall. Now, I hate the ding, ding. I mean, even now you can hear, listen. You can just, the, the SIG has a ring to it, bro. It just does. Even my first one had that. I think it has a lot to do with the harmonics and all that of the, you know, flash hider. And you also have a flash hider here, of course, but it's a little bit shorter. This is, of course, for the QD on the SLX. But, um, man, overall, very solid shooter, very fun shooter. Um, this was, like I stated before, my first rifle that I picked up was the M400 Tread back then. And they've done a lot to upgrade it to a very solid, even better rifle that, and you know, something that you could, you know, offer to someone else and say that, you know, this is a good starting point. Um, is it the super Gucci and all that? No, but that's not what it's meant for. It, it has its place within the scale of entry level tiers and all the above. I think this is a very solid overall firearm. It's very capable um, for home defense or whatever you may need to see fit. And uh, for the most part, you know, I think it's pretty accurate. Now we did not get to test it out in 100 yards to check out MOAs and all of that, which we could do a follow-up video and do some more of that type of content um, in the near future if you guys want to know more about it. But I just want to give you the basics as far as accuracy overall, which it does have and it's very solid and functions very well. We didn't have any failures to feed or any hiccups or whatsoever when shooting this. So it also was a very just solid, fun gun overall to shoot. And as I stated before, it is something to uh, think for that first time person. There's definitely other options out there. So I'm not here to tell you what to buy or what you know what you could do, because I know people are going to be saying, man, with that price, I could have got I, I understand. But it's kind of like with computers. You know, some people don't know how to to get all the parts and components and do that. So they rather just go out and buy the pre-assembled thing. I think that this is pretty solid uh, for its price point and uh, for what you get. And I I love Sig. They take care of their issues and they are a solid company at the end of the day. So hopefully I don't be saying at the end of the day too damn much, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. But yeah, the uh, Sig Tread, very lightweight by the way. The handguard, extremely easy to wrap your hands around. We are running a front grip, but I use it as like a C-clamp. And right here, you just easily back on target. Just easily back on target. I love this. This grip is very slim. It's smaller than a lot of the grips I've been, you know, holding on to. That's what she said recently. But also I noticed with those more slimline grips, I have better control on my rifle. So it's one of the things you got to trade up for. And I don't have an issue with it when uh, running this one, honestly. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. Check out my blog post where I talk more and go into depth a little bit more about my experiences on my website so check that all down below in the description i love y'all i appreciate y'all as always and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one i'm out peace